back at the hotel, we're making good progress on our pool bar, Drifts. Now that all the siding has arrived, you've got to strap around the windows, you have to strap the corners to hold the trim. That's good. That's fine. It's in. That's good. Uh, look at that. You kidding me? Uh -oh. All right, I'm. I'm right here. Ooh, look at this. Look, there's just water sitting in there. Uh, it's never easy. But how far do you think this goes? I don't know, but it's rotten there. Rotten here. It's rotten there. So the list gets longer. Oh, the hits just keep coming. So it looks like I have to pull the entire soffit off all the way around the building replace it, probably replace some of the rafter tails, put it all back together before I can start putting the siding up. Replacing the soffit's probably gonna take maybe $1,000 of material. Three or four guys for an entire day. There's always something. Paradise! Work continues on the clubhouse columns. The damaged concrete's been removed, and now it's time to parge the walls. First, a wire mesh is secured to the face of the columns, and then a layer of concrete is applied over top. Eventually, we'll clad all the columns in stone. But this is a good short-term update that will look great and keep costs down. We're almost ready to check the honeymoon suite off the list. What do you want? I want my lights. I want progress in this villa so I can start. All right. So I need center, but now we have beautiful wallpaper, so I'm guessing this is center. Brian's helping me measure where to hang two pendant lights in the eyebrow feature that will hang on each side of the bed. The whole wall is 162 and 3 quarter. Do you want a calculator? <laughs> Half of the wall is 81 and 3 eighths. Yep. The bed's what? 86, so 43 on both sides. 43, and we should have 38 and 3 eighths remaining. We're going to yes. minus one. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Carry this, add this, subtract this. Oh my god, this is so painful. And you want it centered in that space? Yes. Okay, which is going to be 19 and 3 16. Got it. Woo! The pendant lights that are going up in the eyebrow, they just need to at least be drilled out so that the electrician can mount the boxes up in the eyebrow. Good. Love. You haven't made fun of my chandelier yet. You could turn these over and fill them with fruit and... Is that the best you got? <laughs> Today, we're back at Drifts. In the past few days, we've got the siding up and added a beam to give the structure an open view to the beach. Now it's time to tackle the most important feature, the bar. We've got the supports in, the 2 by 6 framing for it. We've got the plywood on. Now we're just going to install some teeth. So basically, once we get that other side filled in, yeah. we're going to cap these like this. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Have a piece like this. Yeah, and we'll cap the top like that. And the bottom, it'll look like we got panels. We got uh, a, lot of, a lot of these to cut. We're flying now. We're going to be done in no time. It's the beginnings of a Chevron, but, it, but it's not. What's the first drink that you're going to make me? Is it 4 o'clock yet? Champagne spritzer. That's you. Sure. I think Sarah's going to be pretty happy with the tea. She uh, chose it. She designed the layout. We're just installing it. So she better be happy with it. What do you think? You love me or hate me with this? It depends what you say in the next 10 seconds. I think it's exactly as I had hoped it would look. But I just sent you a drawing, and you didn't say much. Do you like it or hate it? I like it. I'm happy to see how quickly it's coming along. The color of the teak is spectacular. And then basically, Jeff comes in, installs that countertop. Yep. And then we got to cap those posts and the beams. Yep. Get some trim up here. That's pretty much it. We throw in all the equipment, we crank up the stereo, and well, there, there is the minor detail of this back wall. I have that covered. You have that covered? It's not covered. Plywood. Meaning everything that we need for it will be here this weekend. And what is it that we need for it? Um, so 
Things that are relatively easy to install. No tile. No tile? No tile. What's going on there? I did three living wall systems. Living walls? Yes. So it's going to be plants? I hope they're plants that like the ocean. They do. They have photos. They know where we are. They're three by three, pre-done, pre-planted. Wait, three by three? Three feet by three feet. OK, so that takes care of 27 square feet. No. I've done a, a layout. What are we going to do with the, the other 200 square feet? So I've done a layout of where they will go, interspersed with shelving for alcohol, interspersed with the television. And then basically everything low down will be additional teak that will finish the wall. So basically the entire wall of teak, except where you've got shelves or living wall. Yes. Sarah has an interesting design for the back wall of drifts. I, I, I need to see a, a photo or a drawing to wrap my head around this. The shelves we're building out of the teak, they're just boxes. Because we're reusing that wood, so I have dimensions and thicknesses. I based it off the, the wood that we had here. Well, like well, three and six. a half inches? Well, then you didn't base it off the wood we have here. Always full of surprises. The clubhouse is a big project, and it's coming along faster in some areas than others. I'm not worried about getting it finished, but before we know it, there's going to be guests here, so we have to get moving on it. Drywall's up. Drywall's Drywall's up. The walls are up. The ceiling still has to get done. Speaking of the ceiling. Yeah, I saw that the other day. You saw this the other day? Well, Mark brought me in to say the air conditioning's leaking and that they were putting a blanket down. Because blankets are waterproof? It's never good to see water on your brand new tile in your dining room. Blanket. Does that have the entire air handler sitting on top of there? Yeah, and you know what looks really weird to me? And I know I don't Isn't know enough. The bottom quarter of these trusses is cut through. Yeah, it looks a little shady. We took down some of the ceiling to move the air return, but we realized the guys that installed the original air handler took out some important support joists to get it in. They did a temporary fix, but now we'll have to fix it properly. On a lighter note. What do you mean on a lighter note? That entire thing could fall through the ceiling and crush you to death right now. Looks like they've cut through some of the major trusses that run through the dining room, so. I'm guessing he's probably worrying a little bit more than he's letting on. Where are your square pot light things that you were? Not here yet. OK. I think there are a multitude of factors that have affected the opening date. Obviously, shipping is the first one that comes to mind, just the logistics of getting things to the island. That sconce actually needs to be moved over. Why does it have to move? Because it's not centered, because we changed those doors to windows. That would have been good to catch before all the drywall was I did catch it, and I told them. Secondly, I would say, is probably the workforce. People are on and off the island. They're here for a short time, and then they're over in a different one of the family islands working. So it's not a set crew every day, Monday to Friday.